Hi everyone, Blake Jones here. Have you ever thought of doing your color correction using artificial intelligence? Well, look no further. Now with Color Lab, you can use artificial intelligence for calculating your looks and to quickly grade your rushes. So in this short video, I'm gonna show you how to get up to speed with Color Lab. So let's have a look. So what we have here is we have a project in DaVinci Resolve. And you can see all the clips here have been loaded. We have our timeline. If I come over to the color page, we just have each one with the default single node. And so what I want to do now is actually come over to Color Lab. And now what I can do is I can just by clicking on this button, I can fetch the project from Resolve and bring it in. Now, as you can see here, it's asking for the IDT. So what I'm going to do here is let's try uh, this one here. Okay. And we bring that in and we say, okay, done. Okay, so now what it's done here is it's loaded the IDT for this particular project. Now, as you can see, these two clips are from a different camera. So what I'm going to do here is just mark that to separate it. And now what I want to do is select this as my reference shot simply by pushing R on the keyboard. Now, as you can see, it's marked by the green flag on the top. So now what I want to do here is come to my looks. And so as you can see, here are the looks that I have available and I can create my own. As you can see here, we have even some teal and orange looks and things like this. And you can try out different ones here. So I would say something like that should work good for me. And then I can come over here and as you can see, I can either match a scene or I can match all. So let's say, let's match the scene. And now Color Lab goes through and does a matching. And once it's finished analyzing and processing, you will see this look now applied to all the shots within this scene. So as you can see now, these all have their look applied to it. Now, for example, these which in which she is actually against the light, we want to actually do those separately. So I can mark those off and then let's come over here to my, um, I have my color wheels and I can bring this down a bit and then come over here, maybe make it a little warmer, something like that. And once I have uh, made this change, then I can come over and make this as my reference for this scene. And then what we do here is we select match scene and then it will match it with that correction. So you can see just a little bit heavier on the blacks there. And then if we come over to this section at the end, we can then maybe make this a little bit warmer. So what I'm going to do is come over here and then make it like so. Just a little warmer for that. Make it my reference. And then afterwards, match scene. Great, okay. So as you can see here, in addition to the color wheels, we also have printer lights. We have our shot settings, match settings, and also our looks. And then also, as you can see, I've got my scopes here. We also have an image gallery and then also reference stills that can be loaded. So now once I'm finished with this, um, I also can do a PDF export. And so, for example, if I want to do that, I can just click on PDF export. Like so export the PDF, click on save, and now I've exported the PDF as well. And here's the output of the PDF that we stored. So as you can see, we've got the sample shots and we've got the color patches. And if we scroll through it, you can see here the biker, individual shots here, the close-ups. And so each scene is separated here. And so I can see scene three and I can, with each scene we have the reference shot and also color patches on the side. 
Now what I want to do is I want to send this project back to Resolve. So all I do is I click on Resolve Push and it says you want to save it. Yes, save it. And then it goes through and syncs it and saves it. And now it says it's done. Push Continue. Then I can minimize Color Lab. And as you can see now, everything has been pushed back to Resolve with the look applied to it. And also it's put in a node tree automatically with my IDT, CDL, Show LUT, and an Output Display Transform. Everything is all set up for me and I'm all ready to go. So there we have it. So for more information about Color Lab, or if you'd like to do some training classes on how to use the Color Lab artificial intelligence tools, have a look in the information in the comments below. And you can also even go onto the Color Lab website and download a demo version so you can try it yourself. And so this is Blake Jones saying, I hope you have a great day and see you soon. Thank you.